Was Rexy really hunting the Scorpius Rexes in Camp Cretaceous? Let's find out. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another Camp Cretaceous video and for today I want to discuss something that has been on my mind for quite a while now. So at the end of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3 in the final few episodes we witness Rexy in the events of Fallen Kingdom's opening. However it starts off with Rexy attacking the campers. Now this may seem um, out of the normal and stuff. However, they just got back from attacking the Scorpius Rexes and defeating them. And this has left me wondering, why was Rexy so close to them compared to where she normally is? Now this is due to the fact that the distance between um, Main Street where Rexy's lair is usually, and um, the boat dock that they were occupying is quite a f fair distance away. Now. Rexy could have been just wandering the island, that could be true. However, it's left me thinking of something that Rexy has done in the past before, and that's hunting down um, rival predators, which left me wondering, was she doing the same thing for the Scorpius Rexes and hunting them down? It's very possible, and the reason why is because of the Scorpius Rexes themselves. We know that um, the Scorpius Rexes were actually trying to kill basically every dinosaur on the island, which for some predators like Rexy would have been a problem because that meant no food supplies. Now, what could have happened is simply this. At the end of season two, we witness Rexy um, start to explore the island a bit more after killing um, Mitch, one of the poachers that attacked her. Now, after that, we don't know what happened. It is possible that, like what she did in Jurassic Park, she explored the island and started to get to know the island a bit better, because we know that she hasn't been con in control of the island for a wh while, for a few years, actually. And she could have done the exact same thing she did in the first one, which is explore the island. Which, if that's the case, maybe sometime during that she ran into one of the Scorpius Rexes. Now, maybe she wasn't attacked by them, or... or it specifically because there probably would have only been one at that time and maybe she witnessed them hunting and probably didn't perceive them as a threat and kept moving on however flash forward to when there was two of them and maybe some point in time she actually witnessed both of them hunting down dinosaurs constantly and not killing them like we see in the first time we actually see the Scorpius Rex we see it like kill like a bunch of Parasaurolophus and not even eat any of them because then it goes straight after the kids in the next scene of it. Which, if that's the case, perhaps Rexy, using her intelligence, could have realized that they were endangering the island, specifically like how the kids knew that eventually they would kill everything and the island would go extinct from dinosaurs if nothing stopped them. Which, if that's the case, Rexy could be shown to be much smarter than we previously thought. Now we know Rexy is a smart dinosaur, but this would be on a whole different level, and maybe what she could have realized is that if the Scorpius is with two of them and killing everything for sport, basically like the Indominus Rex did, then eventually there would be no food for her, and eventually she decided to make the Scorpius her next target, and she probably started hunting them constantly. Which could actually explain another thing with the Scorpius, why they were always in different places, especially after um, they first meet the kids. We see them go from one place to the other place on the island. Now, yes, there were two of them, but even so, they were still constantly moving across the island, which in some cases, it could have been because they knew Rexy was chasing her. Now, you may say, why didn't they face the T-Rex herself in the first place? Well, because of what we've seen with the Scorpius with other dinosaurs, specifically ones that could fight back. Now, if we look at these dinosaurs that they constantly were going after, like the Parasaurolophus and Gallimimus, we see that they constantly go after those ones because they can't fight back. Like, I think for the Parasaurolophus, they each killed, like, about 20 of them? I don't know. It was a lot of Parasaurolophus, but they were so easy to kill, which could have explained why they went after them, because they found it amusing and easy to do. However, if we look at the Scorpius Rex against something like the Ankylosaurus, which we've seen 
um, fight against, we see that they're unable to, and as soon as the Ankylosaurus show strength, they backed off. And with the Sinoceratops, they did the same thing. Sure, they managed to inflict it with um, a poisonous quill, but the Sino still escaped and also wasn't even affected by the poison, which is a, another thing to think about. So, if that's the case, maybe be, perhaps because Rexy was so big compared to all the other things they had faced, maybe they felt intimidated by her sheer size, which would make sense. She probably would use her size to advantage, which, if that is the case, then the Scorpius Rexes were trying to avoid her. And eventually, once the Scorpiuses were dead, Rexy backed off and then obviously went after the kids and then thus begins the Fallen Kingdom portion of Camp Cretaceous. And that actually helps make sense of all the little questions that I've had, like why Rexy was so close to the campers in the first place compared to where she normally hunts, or why the Scorpiuses were always on the move. It must have been for something, and it's not just for killing things, because we know they eventually need to eat, but now we know it's because Rexy could have actually been chasing them. But guys, leave in the comments what you think. Do you think it's possible that Rexy was actually going after the Scorpius Rexes, thus showing her intelligence a lot more? It's possible, because we know she would fight anything that gets in her way, like with the big with the Velociraptor pack in Jurassic Park. We see that as soon as she witnesses them, she actually goes on the hunt for them and successfully kills them. For the Indominus Rex, as soon as she sees that and knows it's a bigger dinosaur than her and is a predator, she instantly goes for it. And it could have been the same case for this. But leave in the comments what you think and your reasons why. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like, and also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we're almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. Hopefully we can reach it before the one year anniversary of the channel. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye